Hi and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Robert and I'll be showing you here today how to uh, highlight the active cell. Uh, let's suppose for example you type here uh, your name, in this case my name, Robert. So I select this cell and the objective here is that I want this cell to have a specific format upon uh, selection. Some time ago I showed how you could do this, but that was for uh, the entire row, not actually uh, the cell itself. So the first thing we're going to do is very similar to the other example. We're going to be creating uh, a name. So we go here on formulas. So we're going to create um, a new name, so uh, new. And we'll be calling this uh, name as uh, active cell address. And it refers to, and here I'm going to add the uh, function address and then one, one. So the, the first argument is the argument of the row and the second argument is the argument um, for the column. So I can click OK. OK. And when I type here active cell, it should give me the address that I typed in. So I said I want uh, row one and column one. So I get um, the dollar sign a dollar sign one. Next thing I'm going to do is add a um, conditional formatting to the entire worksheet. So selecting the entire worksheet, I go to home now and then uh, conditional formatting and I'm going to create a new rule. Then I'm going to be using a formula and in this formula I'm going to be typing address and I'll be determining uh, the roll number as being A1. I don't want to fix uh, in absolute terms, so it will be relative to A1. And then the column is going to be also relative uh, to A1. And if this is equal to the uh, active cell address, which is the name that I created, then it should conditionally format uh, the contents. So let's put the color here as being uh, white, bold, and we're going to fill this with some dark colors such that um, we can see the, the, the text. Alright, so that looks okay. Alright, so okay, so I have here um, my Visual Basic Editor and under this workbook I'll be selecting selection change. So let's just break this. And now, uh, it's a very short piece of code, so I will be typing here with this workbook.names and then the name uh, we created, which was active cell address. So end with um, the name is equal to active cell address. So we can copy and paste it so I don't have to retype. And it refers to R1C1. And we're going to add the formula address. And now I want the active cell dot row and I'll be concatenating this with the active cell dot column so give it a little space here and finally I will be closing my that was an error just missed the percent here so um, this is going to be the new formula because you remember the, the formula for the active cell address. I just put the number one and then number one again, um, indicating that it should be cell A1. But in this case, I want to pick the um, active cell row and the uh, active cell column and rebuild uh, my formula such that when I click somewhere in my workbook, um, it changes the original formula and the conditional formatting is applied. So we can try that out. Okay, so in this case, as you can see, I'm selecting and then it changes uh, to whichever location I am uh, currently. So 
active cell. And as you can see here, because I typed uh, the name uh, active cell address, so obviously if I select another cell, uh, that cell gets the focus and therefore also gets the formatting, but here on um, E6, I actually get the actual address of uh, my active cell, which is uh, H7. So until next time, my name is Robert.